Hello everybody and welcome to part 12 of my Final Fantasy 7 Let's Play. And in this part, uh, well, you'll see here in just a second here, <laughs> we're going to start with a battle. So, uh, if you remember from the last episode, uh, we finally got out of uh, Midgar here. And... Uh, what I'm doing here is, um, I got on the first battle, luckily. Um, these, these mecha enemies here, they have, uh, your first, uh, enemy skill, which is that Metro Magic that you keep seeing. And, um, you'll see that I, 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 I needed to steal something from them, but I didn't steal at this point, so you'll see... Me, uh, try to go back and try to get it again here. So, um, so we're gonna do our first cut to when I actually go and get uh, into battle with them again here. So, with that, let's go ahead and cut to when I uh, I get that. So, BRB. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, there was actually a weapon I was supposed to do for Barrett there, and, um, I'm actually gonna cut again to when I actually get to, uh, stealing it, because it, uh, the steal rate is really bad still. So, um, right now I'm, I'm showing off, um, Cloud getting his, uh, showing off the, his second tier attack there. I don't think I used it before yet, but... Anyways, uh, we'll cut to when I actually steal the weapon that I need. Eventually. So that right there is uh, what I was trying to steal, the atomic scissors. Uh, that's a that's a weapon for Barry. And um, just a little warning with it, it's actually not a gun for him. It's actually a close range um, weapon for him. It's one of the rare... Um, Weapons that Barrett has that are close range and uh, You lose his long-range ability there, so if you um, Later on we'll get a long-range uh, Materia there and uh, that'll be best to put it on him if he ever needs to keep that long range but uh, so anyways um, We're right now I am uh, gonna head back to uh, calm there because um, I, I don't need to uh, to um, well actually this battle here is new that's, that's why I'm leaving this in um, but we're pretty much done um, with with trying to get some stuff here uh, there will be some other enemy skills that I need to get, but I'll be getting them after we deal with stuff in calm. So, um, well, that, that's uh, that's I was just showing off uh, the metric magic there and just showing how powerful it is with uh, whoever has it. So, so we'll finally be getting into calm here, and uh, we'll be getting into the flashback. And uh, that little cut that I just did there, that was just me saving and healing up. Which I really don't need because uh, I believe after all this, all this is done here, I'll be um, healed up. Uh, so before you actually go into the inn there, um, there's actually some stuff around the town. And um, there's really not much really... Um, it's usually just, you know, some minor items like ethers and stuff like that, which I guess you could use, but I guess it's whatever. Um, so I'm just showing off the me exploring around the town and, um, really just finding all the items that I can find. Um, there, there won't be any items that I can't get right now. And speaking of not getting, uh, this, uh, chest right there, there is no way to open that. Like, there is no, 
uh, like key, special rare key that you're, you know, some hidden key or whatever that you're supposed to find to open it. Um, yeah, you're just never ever supposed to be able to open it. And you can look online, there's no, no way. <laughs> so, um, don't even bother trying to figure out how to open that thing, it's, it's impossible. So... So pretty soon here, when we go up here, there's a a weapon uh, for somebody that you don't even have yet, which I'm, I'm actually questioning why they're allowing you to get it, because uh, the person that it goes for uh, is a secret character, and uh, you don't e you're not even remotely close to getting him yet, so it's like, why, why make that available? But it's whatever. So this house here, this actually comes into play uh, quite later. Um, this is uh, the little traveler guy, and uh, he's uh, he's the guy that will want some uh, specific items, uh, um, and he'll trade you uh, for some really good items, and um, it will be very useful for later. So right here is the item shop here. I what I did was I um, ended up getting um, quite a few since I have you know quite a bit of money. Uh, I I was like ah, I wonder if I should mix up my tents, but then I'm like no no let's just uh, I, I just went to getting only fifty and then the rest of the items I rounded them up to twenty. So you'll be seeing me. Uh, getting most of the items up to 20 except for the tents and um, and also in this town is a materia and weapon shop and we'll be getting some actually new materia in this town and I will also be getting um, uh, like more more of uh, materia that we already have and um, so then uh, I can have other people have it uh, I believe I believe you're able to buy st the steel material here which I do get another one in um, um, we'll be putting it on somebody later so that that way I have multiple people to be able to steal so here's the material shop, and uh, new in this one is the earth um, materia and the heal materia. Um, obviously, the earth materia is they do uh, the quake spells, and the heal one uh, does uh, does the uh, heals the the poison and does the asuna. Um, uh, spells there so that will be your um, At least the heal uh, material there I would be advised to actually have that and try to level that up so that you have um, At least up to Asuna or however you pronounce it and uh, And uh, so you can you're able to cure your things there so right there, I, I you don't have to buy the thing for uh, Tifa there. I, I did just because I had the money and it was just, it was whatever. Um, but later on, we'll be able to steal a weapon for uh, Tifa there. And um, you'll be able to get it for free and it will last her for a good while. Um, and same with Barrett there. Uh, his atomic scissors there will last him a little while too. And... When you get here, uh, go to this, uh, go run to this thing there. You gotta actually, uh, activate, uh, trying to get it, like, I don't know, I think it's like five times. And eventually Cloud will kick it and, um, make it fall and you'll be able to grab it. And it was a Mega Elixir there, so. Very useful item. So, right now, uh... Cloud is going to tell, um, I guess, his version of what happened in the past and 
all that. So we'll be finally getting into the back uh, flashback segment. And uh, we'll, we'll be seeing um, Cloud's interpretation of what happened um, back in the past and uh, how Sephiroth uh, came to be and whatnot. You know, and it's kind of why he's so batshit crazy and like what happened to him and why he's back and all that. So, actually, kind of a funny thing, uh, during, um, this battle that will come up, uh, um, it's, it's, most of the battles here are fixed, and really, uh, Flash Black, uh, Cloud here is pretty useless, like, he's, he's at level 1, he doesn't have a lot of HP, and he doesn't do a lot of damage, mostly, uh, mostly due to... Pretty much, uh, we're, it's, the enemies that we're encountering are, like, really strong, so it's, um, very hard for him to defeat the enemies there, but, uh, during this, uh, um, uh, scripted battle that comes up, uh, with the dragon enemy, uh, there is actually a good chance that Cloud will actually get attacked and killed. And, um, there is also another chance that Sephiroth will either revive Cloud or just pretty much attack, um, the, the enemy there and just destroy it and like that. And, uh, Sephiroth's stats, um, in terms of, like, him in battle, he's pretty much indestructible. Like, uh, he's immune to, um, attacks. Um, I don't, I don't think any magic works on him either. At least I don't think so. <laughs> but I think it's, it has something to do with, um, with probably his, uh, stats being, like, overly high just to emphasize how strong he is. So... I guess it's whatever. <laughs> now here, here's the battle coming up that I was talking about. This is uh, pretty much a script uh, battle where you 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 always fight this uh, this enemy right here. And as you can see, uh, he just took no damage from that. And I, I don't know if he's really pretty much indestructible all around. Like, nothing really hurts him. I'm not... I am I do recall that there might be a way to get a game over during that. I'm not sure. Uh, I think if you look that up, uh, you'll see someone um, has actually done that. And that is some lightning if you hear that. Actually, a storm going on where I'm uh, right now. I don't know if it's a good idea to record right now because the power might go out. <laughs> but if it doesn't, then yay. <laughs> so uh, this is uh, Cloud's uh, hometown, uh, which is called Nibelheim. I believe that's how you pronounce it. And um. The, uh, the little, uh, center well thing back there, uh, that's where the, uh, the flashback was, uh, in Tifa's bar was at. So, let's kind of give you context of where we're at now. And, uh, so the... 
Now you can't uh, you can move around in the the uh, the, uh, the flashback here. You can talk to the guards there if you want, but uh, you don't. It's just you know filler, uh, whatever. Um, but what I I just moved this thing along because there's really nothing. Really nothing you can really accomplish in, in the backstory there. You can't get, like, a special item and it transfers to you or anything like that. There's, um, in fact, um, you are able to get into random battles, but, um, you, you don't get any experience. So, there's no, um, no need to, like, grind or whatever. So, <laughs> um, I just figured it was just best to, uh, to just move this thing along so that uh, I don't want to I don't want uh, to you know stay in this uh, flashback for too long because um, later on I will be uh, I will be grinding my limits my limit breaks there so that they're at level three and um, I'll probably be also grinding my uh, um, my normal levels there just to get up uh, up there a little bit I'll probably be a little OP um, at some point so What I'm doing right here, uh, this is actually a funny thing that you can actually do. And if you look up what uh, what this is there, you'll actually kick yourself. But uh, if you actually go into Tifa's house during the flashback and you go into her room and go to her uh, little dresser in the back here, you'll actually get some, get that. Now, if you look up what orthopedic means, it's basically... Basically, what the the underwear is, it's it's like a, a a special type of underwear that helps support your back. And um, as you know, Tifa's character design, um, she has a big chest, <laughs> so she has a special type of underwear to help with her back uh, problems. So that's <laughs> so yeah. So that's basically what. Uh, what that special underwear is for is to help with uh, people that have um, overly sized uh, chests there, specifically. <laughs> so basically all you have to do is go into the inn here and talk to Sephiroth here and um, just go ahead and get some sleep uh, to advance uh, the flashback. Um, there's really nothing else to, like, go around and... I mean, you can go around and explore, but there's really nothing you can do. It's, uh, just... I don't know, it's just the, you know, normal conversations with people that, uh... You don't really get any more, like, backstory to anything. Um, I think you can go into Cloud's, um... Cloud's house, and you can get a familiar scene that happens uh, later. I think I'm not sure. I think I think you you are able to um, get it again um, in a town that's a little later, but I'm not sure. So. So in this flashback here, Atifa uh, was the uh, the tour guide for. Uh, going into the um, the mountains there and they're gonna use Tifa here to actually get into the reactor that's um, on the mountain there and um, so right now this guy is wanting to take a picture and this, uh, the picture taking thing actually does come into play later. Kind of, kind of, uh, puts uh, Cloud into a, a depressed state on like what's, what's reality and what's not. 
and we'll actually we'll, we will be seeing what the true picture looks like um, probably way later actually like kind of I, it would be on like the second disc I believe um, if you're doing like the normal PlayStation one well, this one uh, it'll just be um, uh, it'll just uh, way later it's probably like you know two-thirds in So here we are in the mountains here, and lo and behold, I get my first random battle in this flashback. And um, in this, actually, uh, Sephiroth does have uh, some material that is like all the way mastered, and um, I think he has uh, well, obviously the the bolt magic there, uh, but he has, I believe. Uh, all the, uh, the basic elementals, uh, well actually probably all four, um, you know, the fire, ice, lightning, and quake, and then he has life, and all of them have, um, all, uh, linked on them. And everything is all mastered, so he's able to use it pretty much as much as he wants, I suppose. So, uh, that, uh, last, uh, soldier there, I want you to keep in mind on, um, on him, uh, the Sinner soldier, I should say, uh, you know, he, he, um, he's actually somebody's, um, well, he's just somebody that, uh, that will come into play later. It will be revealed on who he is, really. And it will kind of alternate uh, what this is here. And no shit, uh, Tifa. I swear, Tifa is like the worst, like tour guide ever. Like she just tells us the like obvious things ever. Like, of course, this is a multicolored decay, but where are we? <laughs> like, what is it? <laughs> But anyways, so we're gonna get some, um, I guess a little, uh, I guess like a little history on uh, materia, on how it's, like how it's formed and all that. Um, um, believe it or not, uh, this uh, well, I guess this little, it's a fountain right there. Um, it's a Mako fountain, and, uh, the crystals on it is actually materia. I don't know if it's anything specific, uh, I think it's just, uh, kind of non, uh, spell type materia or something. I don't know. It's just crystallized, uh, uh, Mako energy. So it doesn't have any like magic properties, I don't think. But uh, so what Materi is is it's just um, very very compressed Mako energy, and it's compressed to a point to where it uh, becomes uh, Materia, and because. Uh, it's from the life stream you're able to tap into it to do uh magic which is why um well i guess in this uh, game's context is why you're able to use um the magic uh, from the materia there and um basically the materia has the knowledge of the life stream or whatever and uh it kind of grants whoever is, I guess, holding it. Uh, I don't really don't know, like, the whole concept of how material works, but, uh, you know, I guess whoever is holding it uh, gets the ability to use whatever the material is. But, um, but as you saw uh, with that conversation, uh, Hojo, Hojo was actually uh, doing some other experiments over here, and, um, Long story short, uh, Shinra is actually responsible for all the monsters out there. 
Um, well, mo for most of them, not all of them. Um, it's they're responsible for the rise of um, the bad monsters. And uh, as you can see here, uh, Cloud uh, just barely made that. Um, I, I, it's if Cloud dies, it doesn't really matter if he dies or not, because. Um, Sephiroth will probably revive him if his uh, AI wants to. Um, there is a chance that he will. But uh, this little reactor here um, is where... Where Hojo did those experiments or has the experiments held. And... Um, this is where... This is going to be where Sephiroth is going to do a turning point. Um, it's not really going to be a spoiler here. I mean... But uh, you'll see up here... Um, a scene that actually happened uh, when we went to... Um, I believe it was Sector 5. Oh, well, no, no, not. Never mind. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, that, that screen does look familiar. I should... Probably just say that uh, I, I was getting my flashbacks mixed up here, but uh, uh, that screen there is uh, when you saw Tifa um, uh, with his father on the ground there, and uh, she was like, "Oh, I hate Chainra and all that stuff." Actually, we'll be seeing that scene uh, a little bit later. Um, not in this part, but, you know, later in this flashback, though. So, well, Surprise is going to have Cloud inspect, uh, this, uh... This, uh... Pod? I don't know what you want to call it, uh... But, uh, it will have a, a monster in it, and, um... It's kind of weird that uh, these monsters, they don't look like any of the monsters that we, we actually encounter. They're just like, um, um, basically, uh, what are in those pods is, uh, they're Shinra, um, soldiers that are being experimented on with high doses of, of uh, the Mako energy being infused in their body. And the end result, uh, they look like that. All deformed and weird. Uh, you'll see a CG cutscene of, of one um, escaping out, but uh, but uh, so Sephiroth here just brings up uh, some some points on that these were just normal people, and it's it's possible that. Uh, make them it just turns into monsters and it's basically about the level of exposure and and as uh Super just said there uh, these were hojo's uh, experiments here so so yeah so this right here is where Sephiroth actually just goes butt shit crazy like he just He, um, I guess it was this, uh, something that was told to him that, uh, you know, are we monsters? You know, because they were, they were made in a similar fashion, uh, with, uh, becoming a soldier member. You actually get infused with, uh, with, uh, well, first you get Genola cells put in you, and you also get, uh, uh, Mako, um, energy into you as well, I think. This kind of like an enhancer, you know. I guess think like Captain America type thing where they buff you up. <laughs> well, that's pretty much what uh, the monsters kind of look like. I don't know if they kind of mutate into something else, but that's kind of weird, but eh. You don't fight anything like that at all. So, it's like, whatever.
But, uh, so anyways, uh, that will be it for this video here. Um, I will be saving, uh, when we are asked if we want to take a breather. So, with that, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please, uh, you know, like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you think so far. So, I will see you guys in the next video. So, take care, guys.